and the you know do the political work to end homelessness and and wheel which among other things wheel is homeless and formerly homeless women who do work for themselves and each other to among other things stand a woman in black vigil a silent one hour vigil whenever somebody homeless dies outside or by violence anywhere in King County. That's our way of putting a face on the suffering, putting a face on the people that we are allowing to sleep and die on the street. You wonder sometimes. You know, we know that humans are social animals. So why, how can we do this? How can we let our brothers and sisters die on the street? That's part of being a social animal too. Because social animals break up into the, our, ours and theirs. Us and them, in group, out group. And the most important thing to accomplish if you want your people to be able to do cruel, to take all the bananas away from their people, is to dehumanize their people. And the most important thing you can do if you want everybody to start feeding everybody, treating everybody like we treat our brothers and sisters is to rehumanize people. And that is what Kenny does. That's what this art does. It rehumanizes the victims and it rehumanizes us, as Don said. And it strips away all those little games we play with conscience to dull our conscience. Euphemisms. Uh, it was uh, in minimizing things. The, the situation that you know uh, the Israelis called the the troubles in Palestine, the the troubles in Ireland, the police action in Vietnam. These things strip that away. Yes. They strip away the moral justification for this. We were protecting the people, the party, the country. This strips that away. And it makes us confront reality. Now one danger in showing us all the horror of the Holocaust right up front is giving us an advantageous comparison saying, well, look at all the terrible things those people did. Aren't we virtuous for, that we never did that? And that's why I am grateful for Kenny's current series, Making the Connection between the victims of the Holocaust, the victims of our racism, the vict in lynching, the victims of our heterosexism and the assassination of Harry Milk. We always, in every generation, society is constructed to benefit the people who are benefiting from society. And if we want to keep humanizing it, we have to do that over and over every day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.